Are you looking for better control of your audio inside of OBS? We're talking separate game audio, separate Discord, music, and anything else that you can think of. Just have separate audio tracks for, say, your recordings, or just have individual control over all of those whenever it comes to your live stream. That way you can have your game or music set to a certain level and your audience hears it at a different level. If that's something you're looking for, then we've got that today in this video. I want to mention this is not going to be stuff like that's going to cost you money, such as a physical mixer that could cost you anywhere from like 70 to thousands of dollars, depending on what you want to go with. This is not going to require a Go XLR. This is not going to require cheap software such as voice meter that can be finicky. We've actually had two really popular videos on that, and most of the comments and engagement have to be, unfortunately, people complaining that it just doesn't work well for them. It's neither of those, and it is a free software option, but unfortunately, it's only going to work if you have a Windows-based computer. But if you're interested, today we're going to be taking a look at Win Capture Audio, and I'm going to show you exactly why this is such a good product and why it's going to help you out with your recordings and your live stream and giving you ultimate control of your audio without having to purchase something like a physical mixer or an Elgato wave microphone or even the new Beacon products that let you control your audio routing and all of that stuff. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and jump into the video. What is going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about Wind Capture Audio. This is an amazing plugin for OBS that's going to give you full control of your live stream and your video recordings. I wanna mention that we're gonna talk about something called multi-track audio recording. You should be able to check it out up here, up here. I can't remember what side this is. Uh, check it out up there. There will be a in-depth video explaining how to capture different audio sources whenever you're recording. But mainly today we're gonna to be focusing on the aspect of changing the volume of what you hear in your headphones versus what your live stream hears through what's captured in OBS. And that's why this is really awesome. It's essentially giving you the ability to route audio and mix it separately based on that, which is super, super cool. I like it a lot and it's something I'm gonna be using uh, whenever I start live streaming again sometime soon over on YouTube. If you wanna check out my live stream, you should be able to check it out in the uh, link down below in the in the description down below, I'll be back to streaming hopefully sometime soon. Just check it out. It should be labeled like Chad's live stream or Chad's stream. And I appreciate you guys for following in all that cool stuff there. Without further ado, let's jump over to the computer, take a look at how to use this, install it, and why it is such an awesome plugin for OBS. All right, so now that we're over the computer, we're gonna take a look at wind capture audio and kind of get an understanding for what is going on because this is actually a pretty awesome plugin and like I said if you haven't used it before I think you're gonna like it a lot especially if you want some more advanced abilities to be able to adjust audio routing and maybe you know adjust your discord audio from you talking with your friends on live stream from the game that you're playing in the background because if you're doing it currently it's probably just one audio slider called desktop audio that adjusts all of it and it probably makes it a pain for you because you might have to adjust your game super low for you can't hear it or where people can still hear your friends or maybe your friends are too loud in your headphones you get what i'm saying adjusting two separate things with one slider for your live stream or your recordings is a pain in the butt and I know you don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. So that's why this plugin is awesome. So this kind of gives you an example of why that is. Um, let's just kind of ignore those dotted lines down here to OBS and wind capture audio with the smiley face because this is a great option, but I want to explain to you what we're solving by utilizing this because typically out of your programs, let's say a program a is, um, Let's go ahead and say that's your video game. So like for me right now, we're saying that's like World of Warcraft that's down here at the bottom. You might be able to see that. Um, so let's say A is World of Warcraft and B is Discord. So you're playing World of Warcraft and you're live streaming and you're also going to Discord. And then you also have your microphone, but that's not as relevant because that is 100% separate because it's one single device. Um, we're talking mainly about programs being mixed in. So. That stuff's not as relevant there. So World of Warcraft and Discord are coming in together into your headphones and then it goes to OBS. 
OBS has literally one volume uh, slider, this right here that controls all those programs and it also can control a lot more than that. You could have your music here, you could have your alerts there, you could have, you know what I mean, depending on however you have your stuff set up, you could have like 15 different things coming through just your headphones, which is annoying and you might not want to listen to all that stuff. Like for example, your background music, you might not want to listen to it all. Um, you can't really adjust that this way inside of here without using things like I mentioned before, like virtual audio cables and uh, other things that involve you buying physical devices that you might not want to buy. And honestly, in my opinion, kind of stupid to have to buy those whenever these features can be implemented just by using a plugin just like this. Now, I ain't going to fault you if you want to buy some of those products that there's definitely perks to all those things and whatnot. But we're going to be going with this route. So ex for example, what comes out of World of Warcraft and what comes out of Discord can just literally be routed straight into OBS by using Wind Capture Audio, which means it doesn't have to go through your headphones first, which means you can adjust all those individually. Voila, it's awesome. So let's get started first by heading over to the installation um, and usage, which is going to be under the releases. And if you have your OBS or Streamlabs OBS or Stream Elements or whatever installed in the default directory, you should just be able to download this beta setup.exe, which is an executable, which means it's just gonna install stuff for you. It's just like the little install wizard. You can click yes, 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 blah, 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 and go through that. Or if you've installed it to a different directory or path, you can use this zip file right here and paste in the files where you need to. If you wanna know how to do that manually, check up above, we've got a card to a video of where we show you how to install programs manually if you want to go that route. But for the easiest use case, we suggest just downloading the setup.exe if you've got it there. And once again, I am only certain that this will work on Windows based computers. For other machines, I don't believe this is going to work for you at all. So I apologize. Maybe you look at some of those other uh, options that we had talked about before. So once you have that done, go ahead, run it you will be good and it will have installed. Make sure you close OBS before you do that. Let's take a look at our audio mixer. So like I said previously, all of our computer's audio would have been routed to desktop audio device, which means whatever you set this to, it's gonna set all of those programs to, which is really annoying. And then we have our microphone here. We can adjust that independently and we've got control over that. So we want control over our other programs. So that would be like maybe Spotify, that could be World of Warcraft, it could be Discord. You know, you can adjust as many things as you want in here. So the first thing you will do, or the first thing you'll notice is if you click the plus in the sources, you have a new thing called Application Audio Output Capture. And this does exactly that. It captures the audio directly out of the application, which is amazing. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set this one to Discord. So Discord is set. We're going to capture a specific window and we're gonna find Discord here. So I've got Discord selected. And one thing I want to be sure to let you know is make sure that this eyedropper is on because if this is off, it's not getting anything. So make sure that that is on. I would suggest locking it after you've done that. And that way, you know, it doesn't go anywhere, which actually I don't think that does anything. So just don't turn that eyedropper off. Um, so yeah, now we have control over something like Discord. So I'm gonna put this run around the same area. And I'm gonna hop into this Discord chat and unmute. Hey, you there, Christian? Hey, hey. Okay, so you can see he's talking and you can see it's coming through on two different lines. So I'm just trying to show these people and these lovely people how this uh, kind of lets us have the ability to adjust these uh, independently. So go ahead and talk now. That's awesome, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, that is all, thank you for your time. You're, you're awesome. 10 out of 10. IG it. All right. So there we go. We can see that the discord is operating, you know, kind of similar to the desktop audio and picking up discord. But the reason why it's amazing is because whenever we add in another one, it's not going to pick up that other program as well. We're only going to pick up the programs that we want to at whatever times we want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one and I'm going to pick this. Um, I would do wow because I have wow on here open and I picked it specifically for that. But I actually think I'm going to pick um, one of our YouTube videos um, mainly because I don't want to um, have a full screen program cover up what I'm recording so you guys can actually see what's going on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and choose the 4K capture card under $200 because that's the video we're going to have some audio come through from. And I'm going to pull that video up actually right over here. 
So let's kind of minimize this. And yeah, here's our video on this capture card from Cloner Alliance. And we're gonna play that and we can see that in here, my microphone is separate than this. So if we wanted me to be louder than the video, we can adjust it here. And if I jump back into Discord and unmute and I say, hey, can you talk again? Awesome, You're, you can still talk. It's, it's a miracle, right? Essentially, we have control over all this stuff that would be mixed down into desktop audio, but now we have the ability to control how Christian sounds on Discord and what we hear him through, our own microphone and even stuff like YouTube, or if we wanted to make that Spotify or even our video game. We have the ability to control pretty much all of that and it makes it really awesome and then the last thing i want to go ahead and mention if you know anything about advanced audio routing for multi-track audio recording then this is going to be amazing for you as well because you can separate out and remove music entirely remove discord audio entirely whatever you need to do you can go into post-production and remove those if you want a more in-depth explanation on how that works we're not really going to be covering in that in this video but we have a video talking all about that up above so check out that card so, all right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead, do the usual, hit that like button, get subscribed, turn on notifications and all that cool stuff. I know there's tons of people that watch these videos, but not everybody is subscribed. We have a very, very low subscriber uh, percentage. I think it's less than 5% of our viewers actually are subscribed to our channel. So if you want to subscribe, that would help us out a ton, especially if you watch this far into the video. So thank you guys for the people that do decide to subscribe. But we also actually have a very high ratio of those subscribers that have notifications turned on so we appreciate all of you for having those notifications turned on it really helps us out whenever we launch a new video and you know people go and check it out on the first day so really appreciate that if you want to be like these lovely people that are on screen right now maybe think about becoming a member for how to tech you can get early access to videos discounts on merch and all that cool stuff like i said big thanks to all the people that are on screen right now thank you guys so much for watching this has been chad from how to tech helping you take your tech to the next level and i will see you guys in the next video peace